Tackling a creative task like writing a blog or a training lesson about a technical topic like how do image generator models work can be daunting. Traditionally, this involves searching Google for academic papers and well-written blog posts, some Wikipedia sources, or even books, opening dozens of tabs, reading through redundant or irrelevant content, and extracting useful information manually. It's time-consuming and often frustrating. But there's a better way to approach research. Tools like Perplexity, ChatGPT Search, or AI2 Open Scholar, which integrates LLMs with real-time information retrieval. Today, I'll show you how to use them to make your research for any creative task faster, more accurate, and more efficient. Here, I'll focus on the concrete example of creating a course lesson like this one, but these tips apply to all similar writing tasks. As writers, we approached research by iteratively searching online, reading through articles, saving relevant information with links or sources, and repeating this process until we felt we had a good understanding and had fully covered the topic. While this works, it's quite inefficient. It takes a lot of time to read through irrelevant or duplicate content to identify the gems from the junk, or the needle in the high stack. Using LLMs out of the box for learning about a new topic is useful, but you must watch out for potential inaccurate informations. It's generally good to use them to learn about popular topics that you don't know about. For example, they would be great for learning about a programming language like Python and write an article about it, as you are sure that the AI has been trained on a lot of great Python tutorials available in the web and can write about it confidently. On the other hand, if you want to write about the latest neural network paper from last week, in the best case, the LLM will say that it doesn't know about that topic. And in the worst case, it will invent information. In this case, it's better to provide the latest neural network paper to the LLM so that it can leverage its ability to write to answer your question. AI-powered tools like Perplexity, ChatGPT Search, and AI2 Open Scholar makes this easier by combining web search with LLMs. They retrieve the most relevant information from the web, summarize it, and even provide citations, making it easy to extract key insights without wading through unnecessary content while allowing you to verify its origin. Let's start with Perplexity. Perplexity connects LLMs with web searches, making it an ideal tool for efficient research. To start, type your main question into Perplexity, such as, how do image generator models work? Perplexity pulls information from trusted sources like research papers, technical blogs, and reputable websites, summarizing the important points. From here, you can refine your query to dive deeper into specific areas such as, what is the difference between autoregressive and diffusion models? Perplexity also provides a list of related questions based on your query. This feature is great for exploring your topic further and discovering new angles you did not think about before. To focus your research, use Perplexity's Focus Categories feature. For example, selecting academic ensures your results come from detailed, credible academic papers. Each response includes citations, allowing you to double-check sources and verify claims. Perplexity works great with many types of questions on different domains, and ChatGPT Search works very similarly. They are both optimized to write a great answer with very low latency, similar to how fast we expect search results to be presented when searching with Google. Instead, we also have AI2 Open Scholar that only focuses on research papers and on making sure to find all the relevant information to answer your question. This means that its answer can be more precise and comprehensive than those of Perplexity or ChatGPT, but at the expense of latency, as they can take more than 10 seconds to be produced. This is because the system spends more time on finding the best documents from the available ones. There are different ways to manage this trade-off of speed and quality, and we show them in our LLM developer course. These systems are still evolving rapidly nowadays, and we suggest that you try many of them to find what best suits your needs. As we said earlier, using an LLM without a web search tool can lead to hallucinations, plausible but false answers. LLMs rely on their training data, which might be outdated or incomplete. LLMs rarely tell you that they don't know the answer to a question. They were trained to provide an answer regardless of what they know, not to understand what they know and what they don't. Tools like Perplexity and AI2 Open Scholar mitigate this issue by using real-time retrieval to source answers from up-to-date external information. 
As we saw in our examples, these tools retrieved the latest papers and technical articles when researching autoregressive and diffusion models, ensuring we are working with credible information. Still, don't trust it by the either. Always review the provided citations to validate the information and ensure your blog reflects current knowledge. Indeed, every time that an LLM is used to generate an answer, there is always a non-zero risk of inaccuracies and made-up information. Providing sources to the LLM just makes this much less likely. Different AI tools may manage this problem in different ways, always with a trade-off between latency and accuracy. Sometimes your research may involve understanding specific documents you've found online. In any case, it's always better to ensure a good understanding of what you refer to. If these documents contain non-sensitive data, many LLM platforms can help you extract important insights efficiently. Most major providers like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Cloud allow you to upload files such as PDFs directly into chat conversations. If you frequently refer to the same documents, these platforms also offer ways to store them for easy access. For example, you could create a custom GPT, set up a Perplexity space, or use a Cloud project. This lets you start fresh conversations while keeping your important documents readily available. Once uploaded, you can ask questions to extract insights. This one, for example. If you are working with sensitive data, however, these platforms may not be a viable option. In such cases, you can consider building a custom retrieval augmented generation or RAG pipeline, which we fully cover in the more advanced LLM developer course that we have. Here's how a typical RAG pipeline works. First, you split your documents into chunks and store them in a vector database. Second, you use APIs like Bing or Perplicity to gather relevant public information for your topic. Then, you merge private and public documents, ranking them by relevance to your query to ensure the most useful sources are prioritized. Finally, you feed the final set of documents into an LLM to produce a precise and comprehensive response tailored to your needs. For instance, if you are still working on that image generator technical explanation, you may take the documentation your team has on your approach and some recent online papers to give a complete review of the field and easily explain how your approach is unique. These systems are typically evaluated on two metrics, latency, which is how quickly relevant chunks are retrieved, and quality, or the accuracy and relevance of the information retrieved. If you are interested in building your own RAG pipeline, frameworks like Llama Index and Langchain are excellent starting points. These tools, available in TypeScripts and Python, simplify the development process and help you learn the underlying concepts. To explore these techniques further with code, check out our complete course on building RAG systems for practical hands-on guidance. So using tools like Perplexity and custom RAG pipelines, you can streamline your research process, reduce inefficiencies, and create high-quality blogs or lessons. Real-time retrieval ensures your content is accurate and up-to-date, while citations help you verify and build trust. Whether researching public topics or private data, these tools offer a faster and smarter way to work. Happy researching and writing!